What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Chris, and welcome to episode 16 for my return to Total War Room 2. Bam. Ah, yes. Well, if uh, you don't remember from last time, let's do a quick overview. Holy crap, I got myself into a little bit, bit little bit of a pickle uh, right here. So, in the last episode, I was building up, revving up for my war with Simra. <laughs> Excuse me. And unfortunately, Simra here in the purple decided to get into a defensive alliance with the Seleucids. Sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. So, I did what any sensible person would do. I made myself a defensive alliance with Egypt and Sparta. And just in case they decided to launch an attack on me. Then I did some exploring. I had a second spy, but uh, he died of old age. But I did some exploring with some uh, agents. Found out basically the entire northern, um, probably half here, of Simmer's empire is completely undefended. So the only thing slowing me down is going to be having to deal with um, Sawi Shay the Rabble. Yeah, shall we, shall we say the rabble? Yeah, that, that's what I meant to say. Shall we sh say the rabble? So we have to deal with the rabble uh, of people getting all upset because I now own their province. But I figured that this, uh, I'm going to strengthen my navy here that I have here. They will help me take uh, this. Uh, this is the provincial capital here. Plan on then moving my army uh, quickly across uh, the ocean here, taking uh, the northern region and the southern region. If I can do that all together, I'm hoping uh, with my navy and then basic garrisons, um, we'll see if I can hopefully um, keep them from rebelling. We shall see. Uh, I can always get my army to use a little bit more damage there. I have another army here. I plan to take Armenia with that. And then if I can just kind of hold the Armenian area, use that uh, province advantage um, of having... Uh, the entire province together, put, you know, some, like an edict up there, uh, maybe the edict up here, depending on how all the population stuff goes, and then, uh, just take my other northern army once this settles down a little bit more, and come through and clean up, uh, these three regions here. Hopefully the Seleucids won't go to war with me over this, if they do, I have, um, a whole other army here, and has some pretty decent income, so I should be able to raise probably another half an army by the time I run out of actual income. Um, and I'm going to station them right next to this city, uh, so if all hell breaks loose, then I'm going to take uh, this region here and this region here. And hopefully, at the very least, uh, if the Seleucids do end up going to war with me, if I can take these, then hopefully I can capitulate them into being willing to, um, uh, you know, go take a peace agreement with me. Um, I don't necessarily want to take all these regions uh, that Simmer has, because they're all the way down here next to Persia. Um, but I would settle for half their empire, you know. I want the Black Sea, which well, I will get. I have no doubt of that in my mind. And Armenia. Um, everything else is pretty much up in the air. I probably will just continue. I probably would then just turn my eye on to Seleucid Empire, at least a northern chunk of Seleucid Empire, and just kind of take... Uh, this whole uh, province here finish this up um, but we'll see what happens again this is all talking episodes and episodes ahead that's kind of the outlying idea of what I have going on but again I just took four minutes to explain what I'm planning on doing so let's go and double check here if I leave my military presence is 13 I have a change per turn of 16 which means it'll be three Plus the fact that cultural differences and provincial stability will be evening out. Also, I'm going to have... Oh, wait. Yeah, you're not going to help me with that. That's fine. I need the extra money. And then these guys are going to give me more public order and uh, the Hellenistic influence I need to switch these. So, all's well. So, again, let's see here. Yes. And these are all... I believe they're Hellenistic buildings. Simra's no, Simra's nomadic, I guess. Um, public order for Hellenic. Okay, Hellenic, Hellenic. So, if I can quickly take uh, over Simra here, I still have a decent um, size uh, Hellenic population um, in this province, 34%. So that's easy enough to turn around. Um, let's see here. I got some. 
I can change that to the Zeus Temple, uh, which will give me more of the Hellenistic Order. Yeah, I could do this, but unfortunately, they do have some decent um, defenses here. Just some javelin men. These, this one's gonna be the hardest one. Actually, these are all gonna be pretty decent. Well, hoplites aren't gonna be that hard, so speaking. At least not against an actual army. All right, let's go ahead and end this turn. I know this turn's over. I only got one spy now. I just got a dignitary to do, hopefully do a little bit more exploring for me. That would be awesome. <sighs> That dignitary also has like cultural conversion uh, bonuses and stuff like that. So, again, planning ahead to be able to assimilate that northern part of the empire. Hopefully, I can do that. Uh, have a defensive alliance with Sparta and a non-aggression pact with Athens. Plenty of non-aggression pacts with um, the nomads and just stupid tribes, uh, Celtic tribes that are up in the north. So, I don't have too much to worry on this side. Arriba. Yes, I will take that trade agreement. They need all the money I can get. Can you not see? Together, our armies could be nine. No. Sorry, Simran. You see what's going on here. You know I'm coming for you. I humbly ask. You do not ask. You're demanding a hundred gold from me <laughs> to be a defensive alliance. I don't think so, son. You like Egyptians, and you're untrustworthy. Why must you be untrustworthy, huh, Admiral? Plus one cunning. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I think this guy's the leader of my house. I'm not sure. So I have 79 of the 150 court nobles. And this guy should be doing pretty well here. Alright. One more turn, I will also get... Uh, Plus 50% munitions, plus one more recruitment slot for all provinces. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a nice bonus with that. Let's go and move my dignitary. With disruption. Cultural propaganda. Spreads your culture within there. Positive outcome, negative outcome. Agent wounded, 48%. Fucking Jesus. Increases public order penalties from foreign cultures in the target province. Ineffective where there is no foreign culture present. It's split. Construction delayed. I don't really give a fuck about construction being delayed. Alright. Actually, let's go on. Let's see what they got. Alright. It's not bad. It's actually pretty cost effective. Mmm. Hmm. hmm. I think I'd rather just... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put you in the administration here. Um, keep you there for the one more turn. Again, I do have... Um, let's see here. These are just basic javelin men and young axes. Young axes are nothing. Let's go ahead and explore... This city here. That is all. All right. So this is this is the main one here. Easy enough. Where's this at? Oh, okay. So what's happening? <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So this isn't actually all that bad. If I can cut here, take that go down to this lower province, uh, that was lower region here, and then just come back up, take that, yeah, I can do this, I can do this, it's, it's a lot of territory to take up here for one army, but I think with dignitary and then the proper usage of a spy in the area, I should be fine, again, I think all of my armies do have upgraded armor and weapons, so that's good. Just double check if there's anything else I want to do here. Um, let's see. This already has plenty of public order. Let's continue to get. I have a lot of. I have a lot of industry in here. What do I got going on? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Income, provincial wealth. 
I should probably cut back on that corruption. That would help me a fuck ton. Good lord. Yeah, so let's go ahead and next up, instead of going for the construction one, let's go for, was it philosophy that helps with corruption? Which one will help political cause? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's so the next one. Minus 10% corruption, public order of problems, tax rate, yes, yes, yes. That's it. State banking right there. Which is ironic because I personally hate state banking in real life. But, hey, if it helps. What's in a name? What is in a name? Don't need any more food. I'm going to go ahead and. Let's go ahead and go for. Local commerce. Hmm. Trying to figure out what would be best. Six percent wealth from local commerce. I don't do a whole lot of slavery. There's not a whole lot of agriculture in this area. Let's just go ahead and go for this one. Wine trader. What else I have here? I believe this actually has a negative state. Uh, once my uh, cultural differences, because oh god. Also, okay, I don't have any, but I do have my characters, which would be this guy that I'm providing plus four. This is six. So that's good. Yeah, the growth in that province is ridiculous. Oh, that's the wrong button. I think. What was I looking for? That's what I was looking for, this one. Yeah, I don't know why Hellenic is going down and Eastern is going up. Local traditions. How the fuck do I get rid of local traditions? Uh, I mean, influence? What influence? I own the entire thing and I have a ton of buildings. Okie dokie then. Whatever. Maybe it's just because I'm trading with a bunch of Eastern people. End the turn. End the bloody fucking turn. Well. Alrighty. <sighs> Here it comes. This is gonna be my defining moment. Oh, and I might add, I've decided just to film all these episodes in one day, mind you. Uh, these these last uh, the last two and then this one, and I haven't saved it yet, so I should probably save it now. Not like um, got to backtrack just in case, but you know, best to uh, be on the safe side. Oh, good God! What happened now? What? God damn it. Motherfucker. Son of a bitch. That's just great. Well, at least this is the statesman said one of my generals, but it still sucks. Netters. Alright. Things are looking up. Okay. I think it's time to begin. <sighs> Let's save it real quick. Just in case. Don't want the game to crash and then all of a sudden, you know, have to start back two hours ago. Let's see if there's an army down here. Dude, Simra has, like, no army. Actually, this would be great for me. Yes. Sixteen, great. As you command. My lord. Me 
maybe be bad. No, no, no. no. I think I can recruit units as long as I'm within my own territory. Uh, check. Yes. I want more actual melee guys. I already have plenty of fucking skirmishers. And, uh, I'm not even sure how good these guys... Yeah, these guys are going to be better off in the melee anyways, but they're going to be great ships to have, so... Let's go and do that. Whew. There he goes nothing. Saving your yes, money, yes, yes. but you will need much <coughs> coin to <coughs> pay the ferryman. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Lucid well, didn't join the war. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, glory, glory, and Hazan on the highest. Oh, man. Oh, Lord in heaven. Occupado. Imperium increased. Now we're talking. Oh, baby. Yes. Yes. And we will go ahead and switch you to Zeus, baby. Oh, yeah, that's going to pay off. Oh, my food just went down like crazy business. I can't. Af I don't know if I can afford more for food. Switch you to a fishing port. <laughs> Cause I'm cool with the whole commerce thing. I got plenty of money as it is now. Ready for orders. Oh man, that is just killer. I forgot. I'm still doing the recruitment on there. All right. You know what that means. Treaties with Egypt. Uh, war with <laughs> they hate the fact that I'm at treaty with Egypt more than the uh, war with Simra. That's sad. Greetings. We are civilized. I already folk. have oh, I already have I'm so stoked right now. Yes. Yes. It's great. All right. You know what that means, baby. I get to take this army, and I get to bring it over to the actual war. <laughs> And I have military Finding access shelter. with the Seleucids, giving me an even bigger Enough bonus. So, and I will go ahead. I'll go ahead and use this guy. You, this guy will come through here. He will capture this area. Then move up here, and then here. And then this guy just has to worry about taking out these four provinces. I know I just say one army take out four provinces, or four regions. And then this guy can go ahead... New army, my third army will come over here, manage Armenia, this guy will come over here, manage these two, and possibly the third one, and this guy can manage these three. Uh, we are gone, baby. Yeah. Okay, double check. Okay, good on diplomacy. Nothing to worry about there. Oh, sweet Jesus. Actually, what is my trade with uh, Seleucids? I probably should double check that. Yeah, the Seleucids don't want to be losing that kind of trade with me. Actually, I'm such a... I think... The Seleucids is probably... Where do I see how much they gain? <laughs> That'd be cool. Long-term partnership, exactly. Land trade route. Alright. Oh, man, I am stoked. That makes me so happy. Alright. Can I afford the public order loss here? Yes, I can. And I need the extra food now. I don't think I can take it here. Ooh, that would be nice. Oh, things are working out splendidly, my child. I can't take the food loss there yet, so 
That's fine. Sitting at 20 is not a big deal to me. Alrighty, alright. Wow, that one is minus 8 food. They got the ship right there. Honestly, again, I have pretty good commerce as it is. I really just need more food. I just need to build up, like, one of these provinces to just have a lot more food. Yeah, I had, like, industry planned for this place, and then never bothered, so. Maybe it's because I just haven't expanded these ones yet. This one is my breadbasket, my home province. May as well, I guess. No, no, we'll just keep it, just keep it all. Following recommended. You may issue an eater to your, one of your entirely control provinces. I don't have one. Thought I did. Thought I already had an edict going here. What? You may still issue an edict to an entirely control. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. I don't control this entire province. I don't control this entire province either. Curious as to why they're saying that. I guess I can still give it to this one. That one's not fully controlled. Okay, so that's the only one I can do it to, so let's do... Mm, let's get some more... money up here. 10% wealth from all commerce buildings. Lamb. That would help. By the way, don't think you guys uh, got a chance to see my awesome new mug. Oh. He's like a mustache. I know I already have one, but, you know, this is cooler. It even has my name on it. See? Chris. Well, you know. It's okay. It's all worn off because I've used it so many times. Can you not see? I can't see. Konos, I haven't been able to see for the last, like, 60 years why I would want to be an ally with you. Ugh. I see. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so looks like I need to increase my authority more here. That should help out with quite a lot. Alliance forged. Uh, curious. I guess <laughs> the alliance is as long as I'm not at war with either one of them. <laughs> Alrighty. War declared. Your orders, my lord. My orders. Alrighty, let's see. Only one javelin man, but I do think that they'll probably be able Eh. Eh, who knows if they'll hold me off. Anyway, you slight Oh god damn it. Why the fuck? You know you can just go into the fucking water. God, fuck you, fucking fucky fucks. That's just stupid. I'm going back to. <laughs> fuck this shit. I'm going back to my auto save. That is some bullshit. Some bullshit. Stupid. God damn it. Fucking game. It's like showing me that I can go and attack it by ocean. So, what do I do? I just hit attack. And I assume you're gonna go through the ocean to attack it. Fuck you. Goddamn game. How hard is that to figure out? I mean, why why would I want to take a land route anyways? Like, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I'm the idiot. Who knows? I'm probably the idiot. Look, let's run the end of turn again. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't care. I don't care. I'm a rebel without a cause. If I'm going to do this war, I'm doing it right. <sighs> frustration nation man frustration nation but in the end I'm going to gobble up the rest of the Black Sea in pretty much a couple turns here see if I can get like a halfway decent battle for you guys I don't think I'll have one but oh oh here comes the Navy 
bum, 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 ba, dum, ba, dum, in the Navy. Ba, 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 da, ba, da. Have you ever heard that song, In the Navy? I forget who it's by. It's a pretty terrible song. But at the same time, you also have to listen to it. It's quintessentially uh, one of the 90s songs. Alright, so apparently they didn't end up forging an alliance this turn around. So, not my intentions. Whatever. Oh, by Mountain Sire. I guess now I want to go this way. <laughs> Irony at its finest. Yes, so I want to go over here. And I want you to engage this much smaller and definitely weaker force. Alrighty. So now we will make sure that my army... Where does my army go? You're over here. I lord. Dun, 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 dun. Bam, 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 in the navy. Wow, this fucker went far. Finding Ooh. shelter. Well, oh, right to the border of this thing. It's crazy. You know what? I'm just gonna assume you guys probably want to see an assault. It's probably been five or six episodes so we'll do this uh, uh we'll do a quickie one here i mean i shouldn't there's no way i'm losing this one but hey at least there's some walls <laughs> oh man yeah we'll end it we'll end it after this one man oh yeah i thought there was so much tension i thought it was gonna be this crazy war it's like that and it ended up being like totally overblown just like nothing at all Ah, uh, yes. No one wants to go to war when you're awesome. Don't fuck with me, bitches. Honestly, I'd rather have Pontic Swordsman do all this stuff. Uh, you guys. Our orders ready. Our orders ready. Awaiting orders. Yours to command. We attack as one. Orders, my lord. At the ready. Battle group awaiting orders. At your command. No one's coming out to Sally, but. Chariots. At the ready. Amisa, lord. Tribunos, ready. Oops, I forgot to move my singers up. Heck, I also forgot to move this other Pontic Swordman up, lols. Hey, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna win this battle anyways. Let's go on, double time this bitch. Let's see what we got here. We got some step archers. I'm heavy infantry, and these are archers not meant to take me on. And good luck with that. Oh, here comes the fire. Here comes the fire. Let's get these guys up here. Alright, let's watch some of the siege here now. There we go. These guys are going to take some losses just because of the tower here, but who gives a damn. Bye-bye, mm. mm. Step Archers. Yes. And there begins the slaughter. Look at that. Slaughter them all. Take no prisoners. Oh, oh, gruesome. Oh, jug. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, ow. Oh, brutality at its finest. Mm -hmm. 
Hannah of Pontus, capture the tower in the name of your lord and king. Hup, 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 hup. Look at this. It's like 18 losses so far. A whole lot of nothing is what they took. Phew, double time, motherfucker. There goes the tower in my favor. Fucking arrow tower is one powerful son of a bitch. Alright, time to move in the cav. And just for good measure, move in the chariots. and hoplites. Actually, let's do this like this. This is even better. This is even better, Wretched. Watch this. <laughs> uh, that's such an evil laugh. Love it. Alright, well, I now own this. I'm not going to have to worry about it being taken back, so let's go ahead. Serious losses. Time to sally down, baby. Go right into those tribesmen. Go, my Pontic swordsmen. Rail into these sons of bitches. down the stairs. Why are you just standing there? Go fight, you sons of bitches. You don't have to be in formation attack. Just go. Thank you. Just sitting there in the towers and getting rocked on. Orders. Melee infantry. Pontic swordsman. Here it comes. Oh. Oh. Sweet, beautiful ramming speed. Oh, brutality at its finest. I love it. Oh, oh, smish smash. Here comes the crash. And for good measure. Why won't you let me through the gate? Ready to march and gate! Citizen cavalry! Ooh! No! Damn it! Yeah, I lost a lot of those fucking swordmen just because they were standing on that fucking thing. Otherwise, that would be perfectly fine. But hey, it was worth it in the end. Kind of sad if something's neutral that you still lose guys, but fuck it, fuck it. Oh man. And that's just like fine. Mm. Uh, yeah. Wow. 
he has great zeal. Let's continue that trend. Look at that. He's now his nine zeal. Now we're talking. You're going to become a temple of Zeus. Uh, wow. Double down, motherfucker. Jesus. Um, let's get you to make me some more food. Yay! All the public orders, and then you can get me more food, and that'll help me more. Stack it with all the things. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. That about wraps up this episode. Obviously, we're going to see some crazy battles coming up soon, or at least <laughs> decimations, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no pirate victories inbound for me, at least. I hope. Anyways, thanks again for watching. My name is Chris. I appreciate your viewership. Please don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe. If you haven't already, there's three other series that I'd love for you to check out. I have my What You Need to Know series, my AAG Explorers, and, of course, Virtually News. Those are the th uh, three series that I'm really going to be pushing uh, for my channel, uh, the ones I'm going to be working on. But I don't worry, I'm not dropping this Let's Play. So I'm trying to do an episode every single day that I normally upload for this Let's Play on top of what I already do. Shouldn't be too much of a tall order as long as I can just keep at it. So thanks again for your guys' support. It means a whole hell of a lot. I will see you guys soon.